So we've got the PC-11 tack this on. Now, that doesn't give you a bunch of strength. What it does do is it tacks it. Now what I want to do is give it some strength. So this time I'm going to use JB Quick. And the reason I'm going to do it because it, it, uh, it has a quick set time. Uh, it's like six minutes. This was about six minutes ago. I, I just did a little prep. And I'm going to use a piece of pretty stiff brass here. All right. And I'm going to put that right here with the, with the JB Quick. And that's going to give me a little more strength. Then later, if this thing is holding good, we got to figure out if we can put a piece across here. Because these things are so weak. And being out of shape, I'm guessing they're quite a bit weaker. So I'm going to take the quick, and I'm going to mix it up. And so six minutes, this will be hard that you can't work it anymore. It's, it's not full strength, but it's six hours for strength. That's good. All right, so I already wiped a little bit on where I wanted it. And I already wiped a little bit on this guy so I'd have something to grab onto. I'm gonna put a little more on him. And so this, yeah, I was looking for a piece of thin steel that was stiffer, but turns out this brass was pretty stiff, and it's what we used on the 280s. And I'll show you that in a second here. Now, let's see if I can get... Let's put, we're going to have to put some more on. So, I already determined that the trucks are not going to touch this part. So I'm going to use kind of a lot of it. Clean out just a little bit. Can't do it on the top side. Remember I said the shell sits down on this. So let's just uh, clean up his edges. And we can sand this when we're done if we need to. that six hours okay that works out really good we'll find a way to do the ends here it might be just a thin piece across the end that way protection in the future <clears throat> and then we should be back in business okay, so there's the quick I, I, I like the quick a lot and then if you remember right here's the 280 here's the brass that we used super solid with the JB weld on here and we use a piece of brass to uh, give strength to these joints right here and they're strong there's no doubt about it but what they don't do on this sink is they don't grab that tiny spot accurately or whatever it is it that never works out on those tiny little hairline spots so we use a PC 11 get on just tack it. Then we add the strength with the JV weld, which is this stuff's 3,000 pounds. And I don't remember what the PC11 is, but it's not that high. And, and the regular JV weld is 4,000 pounds. But we don't need that quite that much. All right. We'll get back to this one in a while and check on it later. 